Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we gotta talk about this one immediately, okay? We're gonna put some GTA 5 heist music in the background because after everything that is going down, what's going on, toxic gamers, because holy smoke, is it ain't no jokers, okay? The situation that is going down in gaming is too crazy, uh, and, and apparently what these guys are now saying is that they wanna sue gamers, okay? They are looking to sue gamers, okay? They are looking to sue gamers. Why, you would ask? Because apparently gamers are too toxic because gamers said and asked for good games Yeah, apparently apparently gamers said we want good games like the video if you think there are two genders Dislike the video if you think there are 5,000 genders and apparently she is out here looking to sue We're gonna get right into this one immediately guys put your seat belts on right now hide your poppers cuz you never know man she might um, Sue your puppers as well. Shout out to the homie Andy Pats Gaming. Roll it. So, guys, in case you haven't figured it out by now, at the heart of the woke homo leftist agenda is hypocrisy. These people are rank, they have no morality, they're absolutely Thanks. horrible people, and yet they will accuse you for the very thing that they are doing. So, um, Alyssa Mercante here is a quote unquote video games journalist, just like there the Verge go. here calling that that's the one that's uh sin number one right there uh, black myth wukong is too mo mediocre for all this trauma games journalism is basically trash now so i would never read any article from paul okay yeah so if black myth wukong is uh mediocre what about dustborn yeah dustborn is the best game ever right the best game ever concord it is amazing yay it is the best game ever on the planet earth look at me i'm strong i'm independent and in Urdu, real quick, I, I, I wanna say this, man. Yape logon ko ek mard ka bacha chahiye tha is game me, ha? Jisne maa ka dud piya ho. ACP Pradhuman isko dekhe behosh ho gaya, bhanchod. Yake yape kya baat kar rahe hain log? Mard ka bacha chahiye tha. In besharmo ne ye bagherat paida kar diya is game me. Ye bagherti ki inte ha hogi. Ya propaganda nahi, yapko proper gandu ho gaya, bhai log. Yap, main yapko bata raha hoon. Yar yape din chukna, raat chukni, pata nahi kuch isse lagat dalo tha. Main bhool raha hoon. Abi abhi baat nahi kar sakte. Abi English hi chhadni padegi real kya. Okay, guys, let me get back into the character here, all right? Altasi or The Verge or any of these guys. Guys, Alyssa Mercante has now said in a Twitter post, um, it's been nearly six months since my SBI report and the start of the game, Gamergate harassment campaign. Six months? During this time, I've been gathering info, info and seeking advice from lawyers and can finally confirm that I'm moving forward with legal action against several parties for doxing slash harassment. Oh, <laughs> can y'all taste the hypocrisy? Can y'all taste the double standard? Can y'all taste the rules for thee, but not for me um, that this reeks of? Oh, oh, and just uh, in case y'all thought I was being mean here, I put the definition of a prostitute, um, hey, a whoa, woman- Whoa, 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 hey, 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 time out, tranquilo. Time out, papi, time out, time, time out, tranquilo, papi. Who engages in sexual activity for payment, and that was Alyssa Mercante. So she is by definition a prostitute, and she has these <laughs> ridiculous glasses that she copied from uh, Ben Stiller in that fantastic movie. But guys, I just I just want us to sit with, uh, watch watch the absolute hypocrisy of, I'm being harassed, I'm being harassed, oh, uh, and then she turns around and harasses. It's it's like so she is accusing people of harassing her. She's yeah. saying I'm being harassed. She's even gone so far as to say things like this on YouTube. Well, watch this. There, there, there was some situation with Asman Gold too, right? I just saw that that the thumbnail and that just got I, I just got reminded of that. There was there's something going on with Asman Gold as well. They're trying to cancel him. I mean, he's always uh, they're always trying to cancel him, right? Uh you can only get canceled if you let them cancel you essentially. So like but but yeah, nothing is happening to Asman Gold. Yeah, he's fine. But they're trying to cancel him for the billionth time. But I'm not sure what what happened exactly this time. I'm hearing that he's getting canceled. Maybe he's going to talk about it. Let's Little see. Diddy, this is hilarious. The game a cunt. Yeah. I want And and by the way, <laughs> look at these fucking losers she's here with. Like hey, guys, if if you could ever do a screenshot of who is on Reddit, just these beta simps, these Th cuts. This is Jeff Grubb, right? Like, if I'm not mistaken. We can... No, no. These atheists, these just useless, immoral men who, you know every man here, if they... Man? Like, I don't see no men, bro. Like, I don't see zero men here. I see zero men, bro. What, what's you have a wife. With? Their wife definitely has a boyfriend. That's who these guys are. These guys are Redditors. They're, they're, they're men. They're the kind of men who, like, follow a woman around and just, like, fawn over her every word. Um, but but then she says this, which is absolutely hilarious, the hypocrisy of what she's about to say here. Watch this. Okay. People in the industry to be a little bit louder about people being mean to other people. And oh, she wants people in the industry to be louder about people being mean to other people. Okay, note that. Maybe oh. say it's not a good oh. thing. Yeah. yeah. Maybe say we don't want you around if you're going to be a cunt. 
and hateful. Okay, so she's saying, so just so we're capturing it here, she's saying it's wrong to... Yeah, Damn, homie, damn. To be mean to other people. Remember this. She said this about Smash JT. Anyway, I found your wife's Facebook and asked what she thinks about the husband of her children harassing women online and laughing when they share blah 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 blah. Uh, her- Wait, well, <laughs> pump the brakes though. What she thinks about the husband of her children harassing women online and laughing when they share that someone they're supporting has been threatening to damn. Uh, them for weeks. Yeah, damn. Harassment? Doxing? Uh, Alyssa, sweetie, boo boo. Are you sure you want to <laughs> sue people for doxing and harassment when you contacted this man's wife? Um, let, let's. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. That's damage right there. That, that, th- the type of damage that is irreversible. That's permanent damage right there. That's not even emotional damage. Emotional damage. No, that's that ain't even that. That is permanent damage. Damn. Everybody take a screenshot real quick. Okay, take a screenshot. If you try to, I guess, he can reverse sue you instead, right? Because you doxed his wife, essentially. Okay, we're getting to Asmund Gold right now. Do I have any moots who were regularly uh, watching? What's that? What's moots, man? I, I feel like that there are new terms every single day now. Who were regularly watching Asmongold and witness the shift firsthand DM me. Damn, okay. Let's move on. She uh, oh. posted this on Twitter. Do I have any moots who are regularly watching Asmongold and witness the shift firsthand DM me? Also, if you personally know any decently popular gaming personality streamers who have seen a meteoric rise, etc, etc. She's basically looking for people who have dirt on Asmon. Um, and then she does this real this yo the the, uh, the the last comment she made i feel like that fits me though do you know that that fits me man damn oh, shit. Oh, i'm the recent one so she asking for uh also if you personally know any de- decently properly oh popular okay i'm not popular i guess we're safe then we're safe we're on asmon Let, let's not go above 697 likes guys on the video okay let's not do that let's not um that. and then she does this real this really like adult content here she says it says that asmon has a smelly ass like oh but but Alyssa, Bruh. i thought we're not supposed to make hateful content i thought we're supposed to be nice yeah what's what's going on here this is you know, i i re- you know Alyssa, it really seems like you're talking out of two sides of your mouth here here was uh something else that asmon said on twitter and she just randomly goes after him with cut your nails uh and then she's here's another thing she says to asmon maybe asmon go wanna be strong independent that's why he's not cutting his nails man like i, I thought you guys were pro all that right this guy makes a little tent with his fingers to seem smart and then says the most carbon monoxide leak statement humanly possible i'm serious he may have brain poisoning damn damn talk about being like all love lovey dovey to people out there man. talk about being <laughs> all like yeah we gotta be nice to everybody right of course that uh, rules for d but not for me right That's this guy makes one. a little tent with his fingies to seem smart and then says the most carbon monoxide leak statement <laughs> humanly possible like Alyssa, I-, I thought i thought we were supposed to be nice to people i thought yeah hate was the problem uh these people are such fucking hypocrites like the hypocrisy of these people is palpable. The context here is that Asmon uh, was featured as part of Dragon's Dogma because he's like a Capcom partner. And the dude probably gets a lot of oh, money yeah. from Capcom for being featured. And she is trying to create a, uh, a harassment disparagement campaign uh, with this tweet that says putting an- Okay, so is this the one? No, I feel like that th- this is old, right? This stuff is old, but uh, there, there's something else is going on right now. But yeah, I remember he, they try to can- they try to cancel his sponsorship with Capcom, partnership with Capcom, whatever you wanna call whatever you wanna call it. Yeah, they try to cancel it just because uh, he had a different opinion, which wasn't even wrong. But okay, it's like one of those things I always say, right? Like these things wanna believe in millions of genders, and I'm saying okay, you wanna believe that? That's fine, boo boo. That's fine, boo boo. Uh, I don't believe that, but if you believe that, okay, I understand that you believe it, and I don't care about it. Just don't shove that down my throat. That's, yeah, you believe that, that's perfectly fine, okay? You believe that, you believe that, you believe that. But these suckers want to believe in millions of genders, but they cannot believe in two different opinions, man. Let that sink in, bro. Let that sink in. Openly misogynist, racist bigot who doesn't even like Dragon's Dogma next to a bunch of amazing people of color, LGBT+, and female content creators is actually a joke. Like there we go. She's she's trying to come after his money. Like he's how many labels we got? Okay, so we got openly misogynistic. One, two, three, three. Who doesn't even like Dragon's Dogma? Okay, that's like 
Yeah, another, another, uh, he's getting another one. Yeah, he don't even like that game. He died yet. Okay, let's make it four. Okay, four. Next to a bunch of uh, people of color. Okay, five, six. And female content creators is actually. Yeah, okay, seven labels. Damn, seven labels, bro. Crazy, man. Let's go for seven likes on the video, man. He's getting sponsored by Capcom, and she's trying to come after him. It's absolutely ridiculous. Seven here's labels. Another, here's another hateful message he sent to Smash JT. You and your ilk are sending harassment towards countless people for clout. That man could effing kill someone, and you're emboldening him. I truly wish nothing but the worst for you and the rest of your miserable effing life. Here's something she recently posted on Twitter. I can always tell when a certain cockroach-covered creator makes a video about me because my replies are flooded with shit like this on multiple platforms. Um, but guys, l let's go back. But yeah, guys, like, don't uh, be nice. Be nice. Don't send heaven proposals. Do not send Easter egg proposals or anything like that. Don't be sending heaven proposals, man. Like, yeah, man. Like, don't do it, man. Don't do it, man. Like, that just uh, puts you in the in their camp as well, bro. They are the ones that do that all the time. Don't be them, all right. You are better than them. Don't don't send heaven proposals. None like that, okay. What happened to all the? What happened to? Let's watch Say this. Again. Me too, but <laughs> like just guys she she was an actual prostitute she was a sex worker and like i hope that this woman prays to receive christ one day i hope i hope that she turns from her wicked depraved evil lifestyle and it, it, that would be amazing if Alyssa mercante got saved but the the simple reality is that she was a prostitute at, at one point look at all these fat I think it's useless probably predators better. Here. Like, look at the fashion choices in here just very interesting but you know, if anyone's gonna deal with it, I'd rather it be me. Yeah. I, I must, I, Hang on, I just want to find this quote again about how we're not supposed to be hateful and mean, and yet she, for a year, has been nothing but hateful and mean on Twitter. Let's watch. I was about to say, me too, but... <laughs> 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 you know what I want? What you really, really want? I want people in the industry to be a little bit louder about people being mean to other people. And she oh, she wants to call out people who are being mean to other people. That is so that's so interesting. Maybe say it's not a good thing. Maybe yeah. say it's yeah. not a good thing. Maybe say we don't want. Yeah, I don't want to watch any more of this. But guys, just um, think think about this when you when you see these woke progressive homos. When you see these people on the le like they always do this crap. Wait. Let's get down to some gaming drama that just happened. Okay, so apparently Concord Devs Epic Twitter meltdown attacking gamers. Shout out to the homie Smash J two. <laughs> Bro, when will these developers bro. learn to stop attacking the Gamers. very people that are purchasing your game? What's going on, Never. guys? Welcome to Never. another episode of Smash JT. And Concord just can't keep itself out of the news and always seems to be for all the wrong reasons. This time, we have a Concord developer who goes nuts on Twitter with the complete catastrophic epic meltdown like it is one for the ages that exposes everything that's wrong behind the scenes in the video game industry today but based off of how concord was looking is anyone really surprised no. hit that subscribe give me a like and check like out smashjt.com like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe but let's cut to the chase real quick okay we gotta get into this one immediately okay because this monkey game have them riled up. Okay, this monkey game is a problem right now. This monkey game has them, have them looking like this right now. This monkey game is the real crux right now. Like, they wish, they wish, they only wish they had 200k. Like, half or 10 times less than that, right? Half of it. Oh, forget about it. They're never gonna get to even half of those numbers, right? They wishes they had like a 200k, 10 times less. Dustborn, I mean, it would have been a miracle right now, right now. Because previously, I would think that this game would have hit like a thousand people, maybe two thousand people, right? You feel what I'm saying? Bruh. Right now, looking at what's going on, it would be a miracle to see this game beat like two hundred people, bro. Like that, it's sad, man. Shit's sad right now, man. This game. <laughs> <laughs> this game couldn't even hit a thousand people, man. To be fair, though, in the beta, in the beta, 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 when it was a uh, closed beta, you know, pre-orders only, it hit 2,400 almost uh, people, right? So, I mean, crazy, 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 you know what I'm saying? Still, it's absolutely pathetic that we had Redfall considered to be the worst game, one of the worst games of all time. On which we even we've even seen Phil Spencer do damage control though it, things got so out of hands I mean whether you're an Xbox fan or Xbox Andy or PlayStation fan or like a hardcore Sony pony right let's be real 
mostly everybody came together. Yes, yeah, Sega's had differences. People always have their differences, though. That's fine. That's fine. You know, some Sony ponies, Xbox Andes would always defend their beloved games. Sim yeah, simply put, back back when that uh, that that situation happened, uh, some Xbox Andes were defending Redfield, and right now some Sony ponies are defending Concord. It always happens, but generally speaking, most gamers came together then, and most gamers are coming together as one. Shout out to the gamers, real quick, man. I wanna take I wanna take a moment and I wanna say this like gamers finally are waking up, okay? That's one positive. I always I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying my very best to always highlight some positives, even when we have crap game news like that. This is the biggest positive, man, that gamers are finally uniting. It's powerful, bro. It is powerful. So people were calling out Redfall back then, and that made Phil Spencer, you know, damage controlled. Uh, shout out to the homie Paul Smith for subscribing. Shout out to the homie gang, 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 gang. Appreciate it, brother. But yes, so he did live streams. He done those emergency live streams. We had that drama, and now we're getting the Concord situation. And this game is performing even worse than that. Y you feel what I'm saying? Technically, maybe I I'm not sure whether Concord is 60 FPS or not. Redfall, Redfield was 30 FPS. Right now, I believe it's 60. They dropped the 60 FPS patch later on. Man. <laughs> basic ass features, basic ass features that we were missing nowadays in video games. Just pathetic, man. Forget about the woke stuff for a second. Basic ass features. Like 60 FPS. Every game should be 60 FPS. Come on now, man. I know there are some of you that I see comments from and you guys are like, hey, I'm fine with 30 FPS. Okay, fair. You're fine with 30 FPS. That's fair. But most people are not. And what they should do, I mean, think about it objectively, right? This is something that you cannot dispute on the box of PlayStation and Xbox. 60 FPS, 120 FPS. Yeah, like there's a setting in on PlayStation 5 and I'm sure that there's a setting on Xbox too, even though I don't have Xbox. I'm pretty darn sure that there's an option for 120 FPS as well. I'm not even asking for 120 FPS. Can a brother just get 60 FPS games though? Is that so hard? Yeah, okay, uh, add uh, those, uh, you know, normally we have those fidelity, uh, resolution, FPS modes. We have these different modes, right? Okay, I'm fine with that. People that love uh, 30 FPS, they, they can go with fidelity, maximize the resolution, and have 30 FPS. Okay, fair. Even though I think that... 60 fps should be the bare minimum but all right i'm cool with that i'm cool with that see we're missing basic features and they drop later on is what i'm hearing uh you know games are filled with microtransactions battle passes uh, the content that should be there day one gets cut and it's added in the game later on there's just so much of that bull squash man there's so much of that and apparently all this woke nonsense is what broke the the camel's back he loses his mind on Twitter Wait and starts it. attacking gamers. Where have Love we it. heard this one before? Don't you miss the days where developers had the passion for bringing great pieces of work to the masses to enrich the industry? Well, those days are clearly long gone, and in its place we have this entertaining alphabet army of lunatics attacking the very gamers they need to support their careers. It is a self-fulfilling prophecy of destruction, and they are paving the road there with their own words. So I guess words do have meaning. Firewalk Studios' latest catastrophe of Concord was Maybe. hopeful and meant to shine. If you were in the echo chamber of Firewalk Studios, everyone over there thought it was great. There were no issues, no problems, hunky-dory here. It's a new game, people will buy it because it's a game and apparently that's the bar. As yep. long as you have a game, people will buy it. The hero shooter has been received with far less enthusiasm than Yeah, dekh, yeh dekho. In Urdu I would like to say yeh besharma ko dekho. In besharma ne yeh ek aur chutiya paida kar diya hai. Ya bagairat paida kar diya hai yahan pe. Yaar chullu par pani mein doob mar jana chahiye bhaincho in logon ko. Lanat, lakh di lanat in pe. The dev team could have anticipated because this is a result of when you live in an echo chamber and block out anyone with voices saying, hey, maybe you should do it a different way because this is not what gamers want. You end up with a product that nobody wants. Christine Rose Shermerhorn portraying MRE and Derek Mears as Starchild tried their best what? to bring life to the visually captivating world of Concord. And yeah, I'll actually give it that. It looks good, especially the pre-rendered video mm. scenes and the cinema graphics that they have with it for when you're not playing these. Yeah, I remember when they first revealed it, right? Like I was live streaming and I almost said something similar. Like I wanna see, I wanna see the gameplay because this looks good. You know, CGI looks good and it did. But it feels like that that's where most of their money went into. The CGI did look decent though. 
it, it did look, uh, I would say, more than decent. Gotta be, gotta be uh, real here. But it's CGI, man. They got all the money in the world. I mean, we're talking Sony and PlayStation, so of course they tried their absolute hardest to invest that money in <laughs> in the CGI, but not necessarily in the game, though. I and what we're now learning is that these like spent eight years making that game. Bruh, I don't know how many years was spent on this game that you're watching in the background. This is PlayStation 3 uh, exclusive game. It's a PlayStation title, Uncharted. One of the best franchises out there, man. I love this franchise. A lot of people love it. If you don't like it, that's fair too. But I'm saying, like, most people on PlayStation, they love this franchise, right? Let me know if you loved it. Let me know if you don't like it. And that's fair if you don't like it. Not every game is for everybody. But point is that... I don't know how long they took on this game, but I can guarantee you that it wasn't eight years. I remember Uncharted, uh, like the first one, right, came out in 2009, if I'm not mistaken, some maybe 2007. There's one that came out in 2009, maybe that was Uncharted 2, and 2011, I, I believe this was the game. So you know, you what I mean? You know what I mean, right? Two years, give or take. That's how much they took. Oh shit! And, and, and Brett. Like, they produce a masterpiece. Now, I totally understand. We're in different different timeline. We're different. Ta we're in different times. Games take more than just two years. And yeah, that's fair. Take four years. Take five years. Uh, okay, take even eight years. But when you're gonna take eight years, are you really gonna produce uh, something like this? I mean, that's the, that's the part, right? Like, they took eight years to produce this turd. That's that's what they did. They produced eight years to produce this turd. Maybe it was just, they took. It feels like to me that they took a year to make it make the game, but seven other years to just work on the diversity and the pronouns. Crap. Pre-made videos of a online-only hero shooter game that nobody pays attention to and would skip to get through because they want to play the game. That's why they load it up in the first place. But regardless, <laughs> it does look good. The character models are a whole different story though. Despite what some could argue being a stellar cast and definitely years of development, reportedly up to eight plus years of development, Holy. the game's reception has been lukewarm at best. And I could Man. almost say that's giving it too much credit. Sure, the game itself is fine it's serviceable like i said in a previous video it's like a 7 7.5 but when you have competition that is better and free nobody is going to pay 40 dollars to play your game add it it's 3 out of 10 at best bro now subjectively you can even give it 10 out of 10 but objectively it's 3 out of 10 maybe 4 if we're being generous in the whole woke agenda and it's just the cherry on top of a crap sandwich and gamers have been vocal i've seen plenty of youtubers completely destroying this game for all the right reasons but xander farrell isn't taking too kind to it he uh -oh, was a new uh -oh. model animator for concord and he responded to critics with a tantrum that ended up blogging protecting his account and then retreating to a safe uh -oh. space because that's exactly what every single one of these people do in the video game industry they cannot be accountable for their actions, what did and he it's say? always somebody else's fault. He began with tweeting a pretty innocuous, it's Concord release day, so insanely proud of the team and what they, and we, have accomplished. A labor of love like nothing else. Been playing it so much since early access started a few days ago, and I'm so excited for it to be available to everyone. Which is fair enough, I mean, you work hard on a game and yeah. you're excited for launch day. Yeah, they, they released it for everyone. Yeah, everyone. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's fair, that's fair. No problem there. He continues with, and I'm so honored to have had this be my first AAA game. Was Damn. a huge learning experience. Lots of struggles, but I'm glad to have gone through them. Time to go play. Again, fair enough. You're allowed to be happy about your game release and proud of your accomplishments. No problem there. But then the issue comes in when we have Casual Combine stating, I'm so sorry that this had to be your first. I do not believe it is you or any of the other devs' fault that this game has performed so poorly. I can tell that a lot of effort was put into completing this game. It just came at the wrong time and genre. There's literally nothing wrong. Yeah, eight years too late or 10 years too late. Wrong with that, like, I would agree wholeheartedly. Alongside this costing money would be the only thing I'd add to that. But yeah, that's a pretty fair statement. And that was a trigger. Free Gunner said, eh, I don't care. It was a huge labor from a lot of insanely talented, <laughs> insanely, insanely talented people making an awesome game. Uh, wrong. wrong. Doubt, press X to doubt. Why would I care about a bunch of talentless freaks hating on it? I'm sure having fun playing it, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. He just okay. attacked the entire gaming community for daring to criticize Concord. Think about that. that that's a major sin, though. That's a that's a no no. That's a no no. That's a no no in gaming. That's a no no. That's a no no. Gamers won't take it lightly. For a second, this is the same echo chamber of people that worked on a game when everybody yeah. from the outside was saying 
don't do what you're doing. Nobody is <clears throat> going to buy this. We guys check out this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we've done. Insane story, insane situation. This is the follow up. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left. We had some gameplay leaks for GTA 6, and the news is looking good for GTA 6.